All right, y'all, I got my recorder on. All right. Everybody connected? We got Jason? Yep. We got Rebecca? Yep. Lady Love? You're here. Humdinger? Yo. All right. Don't sneeze. Don't blink. <laughs> <laughs> don't turn on, Don't even turn on your signals. <laughs> You're right about that. Man. Don't answer no phone calls. <laughs> Hey, Chris, I'm Chris. Hold yes, it. yes, sir. That's, that's the SUV puller. He can pull off. Okay, gotcha. All right. Y'all let me know when y'all ready. Yeah, you can roll now. All right. We'll try to keep it tight so we don't get disconnected. Vehicle coming. Oh, okay, he's letting us out. All righty, y'all. Hopefully we can uh, stay connected this time. Everybody good? Yeah. All right. So full. Golden Rider, a shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who is fearless. A young loner on a crusade to champion the cause in a world of reckless automobiles. These are my motor vlogs. Oh, yeah. What's up, YouTube? Your boy Chris out on the go wing, leaving Casey Jones, riding with Jason. You there, Jason? Yep, yep. We got a little bit. Yeah, I'm here. We got Lady Love. I'm here. And Humdinger. Yeah. And we are all on the Cena 20S. And I'm hoping that we don't get disconnected this time. We're leaving Casey Jones. Is anybody not fooled? Oh, uh, I'm stuffed. <laughs> yeah, so. I'm being dead myself. <laughs> <laughs> Especially on that, on that blueberry pie. Oh, man. man. This should be a sin to eat that good. <laughs> One of my favorite places. Man, I'm telling you, man, this should be a sin to be eating that good. That was some good eating, y'all. Oh, uh, yeah. It was. That hot water cornbread, oh, man. Yeah. The kind your grandmama used to make. The kind your grandmama yeah. used to make. Yeah. See? I'm going to try to. Lady Love. Yo. How you liking that heated gear? You know, Yo. when we left D.C., uh, you bought the heated gear. So how? what do you think about it so far? I love it. You love I it? I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm yeah, give... I, ha I had my chaps on, but I took them off. Okay, you had your chaps on, but uh, you took them off. Yeah, so now I'm finna see what it really do on the way back home. Oh, okay, okay. So you saying you love it. Do you give it a five star? Or... Whatever the high star. That's the what high star. <laughs> what about you, Jason? Love it. Ten plus ten. Ten plus ten. And you, and you, little bit? Same. She, she loves it. I don't know why I didn't get it before. <laughs> I think you're right. I love my heated gear. I'm wearing my, I'm heat, I'm wearing my heated gloves, as a matter of fact. I yep. need to turn them on. I'm to, uh, trying to convince my sweetie back there to go ahead and get him one. Uh, he, he, you going to convince him? Yeah, I'm going to try. <laughs> it's worth it. Yep, it is. Well... I don't have the heated gear, but I got the uh, freeze out, and uh, the freeze out works very good. That freeze out is good. Uh, I need to turn on my. Let me know when the light turns. I need to plug in my. Plug in my stuff. There we go. Y'all ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, I had to get I had to get plugged in myself. So we're gonna head on back to Memphis. We're showing about 46 degrees out, so it's gonna be a cold ride back if you're not prepared. Well, I think all of us prepared. I think we prepared today. Oh uh, yeah. It's rain, but. Woo, Jason, right back. Jason, what you got? Uh, electrical connection back there? You got electrical connection headlights? I, I didn't hear that. 
I said you got electrical connection headlights? No, these are those, uh, whatever they are. 7 Say that again? The uh, SoCal. SoCal? Yeah, SoCal, there you go. Okay, big bike parts. Uh, well, I didn't get it from, I, I ordered it from the company. Oh, okay. So you didn't you didn't like the uh, electrical connection or? They didn't have any that you didn't have, to. or something was different about them, and I got the. I'm sorry, you was breaking up, Jake. You got to say that one more time so we can hear you. Uh, something about those the ones they had at the time when I was looking for them, I didn't like the electrical connection ones. Okay. It was before they came out with that new one. Right. And so I got the. Oh, okay. So you got those before Electrical Connection came out with the new ones? Yeah. Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. I don't know why I was thinking you had Electrical Connection, but they bright as all get out, that's for sure. Yeah, they're the same ones that make these running lights. How many? Do you remember what the lumens on them were or the, uh, the specs on them? The uh, low... I'm gonna see what's in this. Well, I'm gonna stay in this left lane for now. We got a car right in front of me. I don't know why they're driving like this. Try. Must be a Memphis driver. Now they want to get over. What kind of mess is that, man? They must be from Shelby County. Yeah. Y'all still with us, Humdinger? Yeah, I'm still here. Yeah. Okay, good deal. Good deal. We're gonna just try to speed it up a little bit. All right. Oh yeah, Jason looking good back there with them super bright LED lights. So what? They work. I still need to do my high beams though. Yeah, they look good, man. I'm telling you, it look like you got high beams on. Yeah, yeah I know people always flash their high beams. At me. <laughs> but it ain't nothing like what you got though. What you got, like 6,000 lumen or something? Uh, I don't know what these are. I don't know what these are right at. Why is everybody driving like... All right, ladies, come on. Okay, come on, Jay. All right, come on, y'all. Come on. Okay, I'm coming over, Humdinger. I mean, this guy in his trailer is driving like, man, maybe maybe he overloaded. Yeah, look at his bumper. Yeah. I don't. I see why he's driving like that. That's what you call an unsafe load. Don't get past it, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get past him, huh? Yeah, man. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Well, I'm glad we was all able to get connected. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's cleared up now. Before, right there at the beginning, it was so crackly you couldn't hardly hear. Right. It's now it's cleared up for some reason. It's, uh... You're not cold back there, are you, Lady Love? No, sir. Okay. How many miles you got on there now? Uh, 45,000. 45,000. Jason, you sitting there, what, 50? You said you fit sitting there about 51,000. Uh, almost now, probably, yeah. Almost 51? Yeah. What you got, Humdinger? 143. 143,000. Look. Yeah. That's the reason I called it the old man. The old man. <laughs> A young man riding the old man. A young man riding the old man. Hey, only in my mind, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'll work hey, for me. Sometimes I'm going to stop fooling myself. <laughs> I know that's right. That just shows you how good these gold wings are. But I feel pretty good, I thank the Lord. Amen to that. Amen. Yeah, and Chris, on the way here, man, uh, the double dive side in the rain felt real steady. I mean, it felt, it just... I mean, it feels real steady. Yeah. We, we was kind of in the big numbers. You know, we was rolling pretty good. Yeah. Y'all went by so fast, I didn't even see you. <laughs> now, Humdinger, we rolled up to D.C., and uh, that was the first time you actually had a chance to really put that uh, dark side on a long, long stretch. What? Did, how did it handle to you? Study. Very solid. Very solid. You know, and... and uh, the highway wasn't all the way good, not the whole trip. It kind of had grooves in it. Right. Man, man it, felt, it felt better than 
any motorcycle tire I've ever used. Wow. Now, what about in the rain? Because, you know, we hit a lot of rain, too, when we was out there in D.C. Very good. It held very solid. All right. Well, this leads me to my last question. If you was going to put another tire back on there right now, would it be a car tire or a motorcycle tire? If you was going to put another tire back on your bike. Humdinger. Hello? Uh, yes, no more than about 10 or 15,000 miles. This I got 15,000 miles off of a motorcycle tire. And I, I just want to see how, how my mileage on this one is going to be. Oh, okay. Hey, I was asking, uh, when it comes time to change the tire, Will you go back with a car tire, or are you going back with a motorcycle tire? Well, that, that depends. Okay. Uh, on the mileage. On the mileage. Yeah. But now, as far as handling, I love the way it handles. Okay. It handles very, very good. Now, okay. If, I, if the mileage is to my liking, to my satisfaction, uh, I'll be sold on it, obviously. Okay. But so, now, it's, logically, it would seem like I would get better gas, uh, better, better mileage on this one. Right. Because it's the car side opposed to the motorcycle side. Right. Now, what, what, uh, what pressures do, are you running in your tire? Do you keep it, uh... uh, uh about, uh, about 38 pounds. You're keeping about 38 in your, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Now, I'm running 42, 43 in mine. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Because, you know, we got, we got the tire sensors. Yeah, but the ride is good. Yeah, we got the tire sensors. So uh, it'll send, it'll turn on the, uh, you'll get that light, you know, if uh -huh. it drops below a certain PSI. Yeah. So I just run it uh, around 41, just like the uh, OEM tires. But I think you'll be pleased overall when it's all said and done. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, another concern of mine is, uh, I just hope I don't have any trouble out of the rear end or no. anything like that. You know, since the tire is heavier, it weighs more than a regular motorcycle tire. Nah. I mean, you know, so far, so good. No, nah, you're not going to have no. It's no different than having a, a, a passenger on your bike. Uh, okay. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. If you got a 200-pound passenger, that don't, hurt, that don't hurt the rear end. Right. So it shouldn't hurt the rear end just because you got a car tire on there. Yeah. You know. I'm going to go to the left lane. We're going to get around this big truck. Hello. Hello, Dave. Well, I, I'm very pleased with mine. Where am I? Yeah, I'm very pleased. Huh? Yeah, me too. I'm, I'm happy with mine. Yeah, I'm happy with mine also. <laughs> <laughs> but I run, I run a little bit more. I run... Well, at the max, I, I keep it about 45, but I will somewhere between 43, 44, 45, right around in there. Yeah. But I like to keep it closer to 45. That's front end back, so I'm running a bit more pressure than y'all do. Now, on my last, on my on my other car tire that I ran, I was running like uh, 50 psi's on it. Okay. So I think I was, I, you know, I wanted to do another tire running a lower pressure. I squeezed out about 30,000 out of that last tire that I had. And I went on and changed it out. And I could have kept riding. 30,000, wow, that's pretty good, man. Yeah, I squeezed, yeah, I ran, I uh, got 30,000 out of the last uh, car tire. And I just changed it, not because it needed changing. I just changed it because, you know, we was going to be taking that long trip and I just wanted to make sure I got a lot of rubber on my tire. And I'm just using it now as a spare. But I got 30,000 out of mine and I, I changed it early. You know, so we're just out here doing a little night riding, full bellies. Man, I tell you what, I think I overdid it. <laughs> You're not by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I had a big salad, chicken, spaghetti. Man. Well, I had fish this time. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, it was good. It was good. Yeah. I'm glad. Spaghetti. <laughs> I'm glad we beat that bus. It was a bus that came in right after we walked in. They offloaded about 200 people. <laughs> I can see why that's such a popular place. Yeah, it's real popular. 
because the food is good and the, the waitress are very, uh, are very nice and everything. Right, very friendly and everything. Yeah. I don't know how long that place has been there, but I, uh, that's probably, you think, maybe since the 70s, sometime in the 70s? I don't know. It's been there for a long time. It's I know that much. Long time. That's a long time. That's a good test question. That's a very, very That's good uh, test question. Since I've been alive, it's been there. As far back as I can remember it. I'm going to have to order, I'm going to order me a, um, I'm gonna have to order, you know, it's getting into the winter time and you know, your face shield fog up real quickly if you don't have that pin lock shield on it. I'm gonna yeah. go, I'm gonna go to the left lane. I don't know if you got the pin lock shield on your, on your, uh, on your uh, shield, Jason. Yeah. Well, but, I don't have it on there, but it does, it did come with it. Oh, I don't, I don't use it. Oh, it, it, it actually came with the, uh, yeah, the shoes, it, it comes with it. It came with the actual shield that you put on there, or it came with the uh, holes on there to, that you put it on? Uh, when you buy the helmet new, it comes with a pinlock helmet or pinlock shield and the, and the piece that goes inside. Wow, man, that's good. Yeah, but I, I don't use it because uh, it takes up too much of my Your view. peripheral vision right. on the side, and I ran with it for a little while, and I, I just didn't like it. You didn't like it? Okay. Because it took up just a little bit more of that side view. Right. So I just I just left it out. Yeah. Well, that you know, HJC also has those those little pin lock uh, deals where you can put the little pin lock shield on there. So I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna order me another one and put it on my shield because you know it keeps fogging up. I have to kind of crack it open just to keep it from fogging. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. See, this, this one. Uh, you're sitting still, of course, it fogs up. As soon as you get moving, it, it clears right up. Right. Got just enough flow somewhere. Oh, okay. Out, you know. Yeah. In fact, I got to get a new shield for this helmet because this, uh, I've got that one that transitions, you know, the transition shield. Right, right. And uh, at night, it doesn't get as clear as it used to. It's still got a little bit of tense to it because eventually it stops working after so many cycles. Yeah, that's so, what I heard about that. Yeah, that's the only thing. Of course, I've had this, uh, I've had this shield, I guess, almost two years now. And right. Of course, I mean, it's kind of like it's in the house and I've used it. So it, it cycled a lot. Right. Uh, so I've got my use out of it, but it was it wasn't cheap, though. But I think I'm just going to get a tenant one. Right. And just swap them out like you do. Just keep a, keep both of them on the bike. Yeah, it's a little inconvenience, but it works. Yeah, but it's so easy to pop these things on and off now. On these newer helmets, you know, you see, you had to have a screwdriver and take the side plate off and do this, you know. Yeah. But on these new ones, it's so easy to pop on and off. Yeah, you don't have to do all of that. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, that's what I do. I just, you know, keep a couple of shields in my saddlebag and just pop them off as needed. It takes a minute, it takes a few seconds, but you know, it works. Yeah, but I'm really excited about that uh, that new helmet. I'm going to order me a dark shield for it. Yeah. Uh, tonight or tomorrow. The HJC? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're going to like it. And see, even with this shield, as dark as it gets, I still have to wear sunglasses under it. Right. Um, but see, I like that HJC because you've got that sun shield and you can have a tinted shield on it. Right. So that'll be good. Under. Oh, okay. Yeah, now you won't have to put no sunglasses under the HJC. And then they got, you know, different shields you can buy for it. A mirror shield, tinted, yeah. uh, they, different colors. and I think you'll be pleased with it. I bought a mirror shield for this one. And the second day I had it, I got it fixed up. And it was big scratch on it. Mm. And then... I got another scratch, and it just scratched all the pieces. It was so, and it was a showy shield. Right. Man, I was so mad. That thing scratched all the pieces. Wow. I, just, I know you didn't like that. No, I just tossed it garbage. Hmm. I won't ever buy another one. 
Yeah, it sound good, but then, you know, scratch is real easy. That's not good. Yeah, some of the stuff just doesn't make it real good. See, like, I, I kind of closed my shield because my face is getting a little cool, but uh, my, it's starting to fog up a little bit. Uh -huh. Even with your top, you got your top bin open? Yeah, let me see. Yeah, it's open. Uh, nigga, you good back there? Yeah, I'm good. Uh... I'm thinking of just enjoying the ride. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's nice out now. It's out, you know, the rain stopped. Right. Road dried up. It's nice. And the main, one thing I like, the main thing I like about this time of year is there's no bugs. You ain't got to worry about the front of the bike and covered up a bug. Right. That's true. Okay. Uh, 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 Chris, uh, speaking of, of uh, fog in the fish here, so far I haven't had the problem with mine. Yeah, I mean, you can wax it. I mean, it's a couple of different things you can do. Uh, uh, but what I'm saying, it never fogs up. It don't fog up at all? Uh-uh. Okay. This, this is a star shield. This is the shield that came with the helmet. You got on the IS Max 2, right? The HJC? Uh, yep, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess if you're not, you know, really, and you got it closed all the way? Uh-huh. Okay. I think that's the guy that was at Casey Jones that said he was, uh... Oh, he said he was going to pass us. Yeah, that's what he said. <laughs> he said he going to catch us. If I went worried about these helmets disconnecting, I'd run them down. <laughs> I'm worried about these helmets disconnecting, I'd run them down. You can have them at night. <laughs> 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 hey, in the daytime, hey, we, hey, hey, we can I, give, I give him a run for his money, you know. Yeah. Right, right. But it's at nighttime, he can have it, huh? Oh, man, let him have it. Well, he needs to go home and get his motorcycle, then come back and talk to him. Right, he told me he's going to pass us. I started to say, what kind of bike you got? And I said, I looked at his clothes, I said, now nah, he in the car. Oh, they're in the car. That don't count. Yeah, old Jason lights look good back there. Thanks. Yes, sir. You know, I've only seen one bike on the, on the road today. Just one. Just one. Was it the one we passed on, on 40 coming up here? Lady Love, is that what it was? Yeah, uh-huh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Ah, well, that's two then, right? Lady Love, that's, that's the second one, wasn't it? Uh-huh. Yes, I can. Yes, I, I, I don't have to. But one thing you can say about us, not to be bragging, uh -huh. but, but you certainly can't say that we are fair weather riders. No, we, uh, no you, like you're not fair weather riders by a long shot. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> you are definitely, you and Lake Love are right. Yeah. Yes, you, sir. You guys, you, you all also. Yep, that's true. Well, we got we got one bike of friends that if it's 40 or below, he will not go. <laughs> sure it is. 40. Some of them won't go if it's and below 50. The hey, I know Ken uh, Ken said if it's 50 below, he won't go. Uh, <laughs> but you put on the right gear, it don't, you know, I'm not cold at all. No. Yeah. My face is a little bit cool. That's because I got my shield kind of open. But if I close my shield, it won't be cool, but my my uh my lens are kind of fog up, so I need to, you know, put my little uh you know, put my pin lock shield back on back on to keep it from fogging. But as far as cold, I'm not cold at all. Yeah, nothing don't be cold either. I mean nothing. Uh, and I'm showing I'm showing forty seven degrees in front of the wing. Yeah, and that's still not real bad. No. Mm -mm. You put on the right gear, you and you can ride. Well, I guess the coldest I've read is like, I think about 23 degrees. Yeah. I it's what I all can remember the coldest. And that was just as warm as I am now. Right. And the, and the good thing about the wing is it block a lot of wind. Oh, yeah. And yeah. so when you're blocking a lot of wind, you're not going to be as cold. You're on a bike that, you know, like that 2018 Gold Wing that's some, that don't block a lot of wind.
You better have on some good gear. Uh huh. Well, you need that anyway. But, uh, but, but Chris, the jacket that we got for Queen Thing. Right. Man, I like that better than I like my leather jacket. Yeah. And me too. Was it like a Vega jacket or something? We I think. It in, we bought it at Wing Thing. Yeah, I think it's a Vega jacket or something I saw on your yeah. tag. I, I could be wrong, but that's what I thought I thought I saw. Yeah. I like leather, but leather gets cold. Yeah, it does. That textile is the best. Yeah, because I know why you ride, you wear that leather to save you from road rash. Right. But this new stuff they got out now, it'll do the same thing, and it don't get this cold. Right. The leather just looks cool. Well, yeah, it's cool. It's just like the heat of gear and everything. It's old technology. Everybody used to wear leather to stay warm. Thick, solid. They didn't have all that other stuff. Right. That was the best thing out at that time. Yeah. When it get real cold, I'm more worried about hitting some ice and falling than getting cold. Yeah. You know. But I got my foot warmers on. I got my heated gear underneath. Well, I have my, my freeze out on the bottom. I got my heated gear in the middle, and then I got my textile suit on the outer. So. Yeah, Rebecca was wanting a one-piece now I know what'd be good for Rebecca. Well, no, she may be too small. I was thinking of that uh that first first uh can't think of the name of it. The, the thermal gear thermal thermal first gear or something like that. First gear, thermal thermal wear. Yeah, but she's small. I don't. It may be too big for her. Yeah, well, I was thinking about, you know, like that suit you got on, you know, they make those uh, for snowmobile riders. Yeah. You know, you find something like that that's small. Yeah, that'll... That's what I need. Yeah. yeah. Find a female small, that really yeah. would be, you know, more her, her speed. Cause, because men small would be bigger than a female small. Now, Jason, which way are you gonna run it out? You running out straight 40 to uh, through downtown? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is that the way you running, Humdinger? Hey, Humdinger. Lady Love. I think we lost them. Oh. I'm gonna slow down. Are they? Are they right behind you? Yeah, they're right behind me. You know, we passed by that way station. There was a bunch of crackling and popping going on. I guess maybe that's where... Where popping. they dropped off? Yeah. That's the old faithful scene. Snap, crackle, pop, and... But somebody ought to be able to tap in. I can, I can, in. I could double tap them, but I don't know. But did they tap out, or did they switch to a phone call or something? Well, I can't say, well, I don't know. I'm going to give them a few minutes, and I'll yeah. try to double tap them back in. Yeah, I mean we're we're bumper to bumper in these things on stay connected. And that bad, and that bad, and that ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I could throw a rock and hit either one of y'all. Right. <laughs> and these things won't stay connected. When you get a chance, Jason, watch that video I sent you tonight. And yeah, you'll I'm see we. I mean, we spread now like a mile. And it's crystal clear. You still there, Jason? Oh, yo, hold on. I'm sorry, the, the voice went down. Say that again. Yeah, well, watch that video I sent you on the car. Those me and Rick and Mad Dog, we've been spreading out a mile, half a mile, a whole mile. Yeah, I, I texted the you. Uh huh. Yeah, if you. <laughs> you got to have, you gonna have to do like Brother Cowboy and have a Caliente marathon. Have a Caliente. I talked to Brother Cowboy. He said, "Man, I'm having a Caliente marathon, man." 
we watching Caliente videos all day. I, said, I hear you, brother cowboy. Appreciate you. And I'm digging them right behind you, right? Mm. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, sometimes I'm wondering if somebody pressing a button, some something is happening. I mean, it may not be. It may just be dropping off, but it just makes me wonder. Because we was all connected. It was no, you know, we wasn't stretched out or anything. 